Hi guys, Owen Matthews here from Energy Link Coaching. Um, here to talk to you today about um, structuring your swim sets um, for race preparation for triathlon. Um, so a lot of us might um, choose with our swimming in the week for our training to swim with the swim squad. Some of us might do our own sets um, that we get prescribed by coaches or we find on the internet or whatever, or some of us might do a combination of both. Um, but a lot of times when we're focusing on our swim sets and the swim sets that we do within training, a lot of the time they're trying to evoke um, physiological responses, they might be trying to improve um, your aerobic capacity, your threshold, um, but a lot of the time we don't necessarily focus on structuring those sessions so um, that they're also bringing out other um, areas of um, the triathlon race that you might need to improve yourself. So I'm, I'm here today to talk to you about um, how you can structure your sessions, not only to evoke the physical kind of um, benefits that you get from a swim session, but also making it really triathlon specific um, and specific to you yourself and the things that you don't do maybe particularly well in a triathlon swim. Um, it came this week because I happened to do two sessions today, uh, this week in my swim sessions that were um, focused on, on this sort of type of training. And, and these were both swim sessions that I did on my own um, in the pool. Um, so. Couple of sessions. This is my little uh, little cue reminder here, and uh, forgive um, my cheap pikey um, plastic lid that I'm using because my whiteboard's in the car. Um, but for me, I'm getting towards the point where I'm doing a race in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to be racing at Sunshine Coast seventy point three. Um, and the weaker aspects of my swim, because I don't come from a swimming background in a race. Um, specifically on my ability to um, start well um, because I don't have the same type of threshold that a lot of natural swimmers have um, and also maybe um, react and change pace during um, a swim at different points to be able to, um, to uh, it might be when you're rounding boys or you're trying to catch a group or a group's maybe put in a burst and they're losing you and yeah I'm, I'm not as great at that so what I did this week was the two sessions that I did in the pool this week were focused a little bit on that so my first session this week a um, little bit of a warm-up with uh, a swim a little bit of a drill focus and then some building sort of um, uh, 50s and that at the start but my main set was focused around 200s and 50s so I did five sets of 200 um, followed by 450s um, and what I was trying to do here was evoke the sort of response of being able to swim at threshold pace while I was tired so I was doing a 200 with paddle and pull um, swimming on quite a short rest so maybe swimming about 245 and and going on about a, a 3 305 I think I was going on um, so you only get a short rest and then you go straight into 450s um, which I was doing on a 55 cycle um, hard easy so I was doing the first 25 of the 50s really, really hard, so as hard as I could, and then cruising for the next 25 of it. So I was kind of swimming at that upper aerobic threshold sort of pace that I would be in a race, and then I'm doing some really high intensity stuff in that, and then I kept going back to that set. So I'm trying to get my body used to um, being prepared for those type of high intensity aspects of the, of the swim race in 70.3 that I might have to react to um, when I'm swimming with a group um, or getting better at starting and things like that. Um, so that was kind of one of my sets that I did week, this week. So it wasn't just about trying to do things physically, it was also trying to relate it to the swim uh, race the set myself. Um, my second set this week was um, a little bit more about um, change of pace um, and then settling down into a rhythm, but during an interval. So I started off with um, a pretty decent warm up. I love these skip warm ups where you can do. Uh, so I did eight hundred uh, swim, kick, IM, and then pull. So um, two hundred of each of those, um, and then into some um, build fifties to get me kind of turning my arms over a bit, ready for the um, ready for the session. Then my main set was six two fifties, and I sometimes like to do things like two fifties, one fifties, three fifties, kind of off um, sort of standard twos, threes, fours, because it makes it a bit more interesting. You don't have to worry so much about the time cycles that you used to. Um, so I did six 250s, but the, the middle hundred of each one, I was trying to swim that hard um, and increase my stroke rate for it. So I'd swim 100 solid, 100 hard, and then at 50 solid again. So um, I'm trying to pick up my pace in the middle of an aspect of the swim, um, off an aerobic pace, so pick it up a little bit, not 
insane because I still have to swim a 50 after it and I have to back up these sets. Um, but it's given me the opportunity to react to, um, like a, like, kind of like um, on, on the first set where you're changing pace, but this is in the middle of an interval at slightly lower intensity, um, kind of more what you'd see in a 70.3. Okay, and then just finishing off with a nice um, bit of kick and uh, mixed stroke again to finish off. So what I'm saying to you guys and what I'm challenging you guys to do, um, maybe talk to your coaches, look at the sets that you find on the internet you might be doing, speak to your coach at the swim squad, um, and as well as trying to do things physically, like you go out and do your threshold 100s, might do 2100s, might do five 400s, maybe think about how you could structure those intervals to also help improve aspects of your racing and not just the physical side of it, but things that you're potentially weak at and areas that you need to improve in your swim. Okay, uh, if you've got any questions or comments about that, please leave them um, obviously underneath the video, shoot me a message, um, uh, and obviously like the video, um, subscribe to the channel and share it if you think it's uh, useful, and give me a shout if you want me to kind of answer any of your questions. Speak to you soon.